Hi, hi! I've been gone a couple of days because the neighbours decided that they wanted to destroy my house. And so since I'm in such a fantastic mood, I just wanted to point out that if you did want to buy any of the Quackalux merch, we do now have a promo code on. So if you use the code QUACK, you will get a 15% discount on any of the products on the shop. So if you're interested in that, you can go and check it out on Teespring. But regardless, we have a new dragon to get hatching. And this is, of course, beautiful little Gemini Beta being Mr. Blue Boy of the Twins. So I'm happy that we finally get to take a look at this beautiful guy. So you won't find the Gemini Beta Dragon without its twin, the Gemini Alpha Dragon. But these creatures have surprisingly different personalities. The Beta is a bit more serious with an artist's soul. I see, I see, that's cool. So he's like an in-learning, I don't know, Picasso or something, let's say. Yeah, 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 we can deal with that. So we'll pop him in here for now. Maybe we'll put both of them in the same habitat. I don't know if I can be bothered. I'm in a bad mood. But that is number 440 for now. And we do get 200 dragon collector points for doing it. So this is little baby Lexa. So I have spoken about this before, but just in case you wanted a refresher, the elements for Gemini Beta are Legendary Wind and Earth, 72 attack, 252 health. I don't think he's a particularly great dragon to use on your team. He might work in some defensive comps, but overall, he's okay at best, I would say. There are just a lot of better divines and legendaries out there that just, you know, pack a whole lot more punch. And then obviously we've got the exception dragons and all that, so... um. Little Lexa is a little bit outshone by their friends, but anyway, the main thing that I like about the Shrigan is the colour. I really like the blue, and plus we don't really have many or any legendary dragons that are in this sort of cool collection because these two are twins, air quotes, even though to get this one you breed the other twin. So they're twins, but also like son and father or son and mother or daughter I, I don't know it's really messed up uh, but i do like the dragon so it's all good at the end of the day this does mean that the twin star rising chain breeding event is now over for us but we can keep rebreeding the lilac and gemini alpha and try to get as many gemini beta dragons as we want because if you've got like two billion chain breeding event dragons probably aren't going to be too many people that have that but Yesterday we did also have the new bl breeding blitz, not bleeding Brits. That sounds very vulgar towards English people, but anyway, we've got the breeding blitz event on for Mr. Aries Dragon. Uh, again, I couldn't update you yesterday because my house is a mess. But regardless, you know, if you do want to breed the Aries Dragon, then you're going to need the Clownfish and Plant Dragons. If you do go ahead and try to breed the Aries Dragon with the Plant and Clownfish, there aren't too many different possible outcomes. I mean, we can check it out, like, right now. But if we try to breed those two together, there are, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different possible outcomes, and the Aries is also another possible outcome. So, if you want to get the Aries Dragon, you've only got a day left, but very, very best of luck to you. I already have one, so I don't care too much. Uh, but on top of that, we do also have the Dragon of the Week that started yesterday, and I actually don't have the Turf Dragon yet because I missed him in the boss challenge event. So rather than me just constantly trying to breed a bunch of legendaries, I'm actually going to try and breed this Turf Dragon instead. So we need a Sunflower and the Rainbow Dragon. These two are like, what, level 30? We'll breed them together. Is that is that his breeding time? I actually don't remember. Tell me. Tell me, DML Wiki. This is like the best thing ever. So. Yeah, his VIP is 16 hours, but I do remember that there are multiple shared breeding times. So even though we do have the right breeding time here for the Turf Dragon, doesn't mean we actually have him yet, which is kind of sucky, but, you know, fingers crossed, hopefully we do get that dragon. So, you know, even if you do end up missing out on dragons from, like, boss challenge events, it might suck at the time, but like with the Turf Dragon here, there's a decent chance that they're going to end up returning at some point in the future anyway. So don't get too worked up about it. If you miss out on a boss challenge dragon because you're busy at the time, or if you miss out on a certain event dragon for whatever reason, then, you know, it's not the be-all end-all. You're probably going to be waiting a while, but eventually, as long as you're still playing the game, 
probably going to end up coming back eventually. So keep that in mind. I mean, they did give us the chance to rebreed for the Ares dragon. Uh, I imagine they may possibly do the same thing for the Taurus dragon, as in they'll give us like two days of flash breeding to see if we can get it again, which is very nice of them. They've never really bothered to do that in the past, so I am very, very appreciative indeed. Uh, I don't want any of these recipes, but along with the Ares Dragon being breedable, there are tons of promotions out in the shop right now, like, there are so many. So, going from left to right, the first one I'm going to talk about is this one here with the Envy Dragon, so you can buy him. You're essentially just buying this dragon for £8, but the Envy Dragon is sort of a, quite a lot of people's favourite dragon. I don't know why, but people really seem to like the Envy Dragon, so if you want it, there is the chance for you to get it. And so, then there is another bundle out that's only out for a couple of days where you can buy the Ares Dragon if you didn't purchase it or breed it in the past. And you can get him, 20 VIP tickets, some food and a habitat for £24. For a Legendary, this is actually pretty standard. And the thing is, you do get 20 days of VIP as well. So if you are really desperate, as in you need it for the Zodiac Collection, this may actually be worth it. So you don't want to miss out on that ultra grand prize at the end of the year. Uh, then we do have an astronaut dragon bundle, 540 gems, it's a little bit overpriced. We've got 700 gems for the Go Green, overpriced since he was available recently. Trickster was also available recently, 760 gems is a little bit OTT. And same with Sweet Tree, 840 gems, they're all a little, little bit on the pricey side. And then there is a legendary bundle for the Taurus dragon as well. So they have brought this guy back and you can get him and 125 gems for 1175 gems. It's quite a lot of gems, but for a legendary, this isn't actually that expensive. Because if you think about how many gems you need to get that dragon, a, what is it, on sale two pound clam subscription gives you 800. So essentially, if you purchase the gems in the past and you have only used them sparingly and you've been saving them up, this dragon could technically only cost like five-ish pounds, which is really, really not that bad, but again, you've got to be actually paying attention and not just mindlessly wasting all of your gems like we all do, because, you know, it's too tempting. There are just too many things to want to spend your gems on. But if you are a hoarder, and say you've got a couple of thousand spare, which quite a few people do, might be worth considering if you didn't manage to get the Taurus Dragon before. So, I think there's going to be a lot of emphasis on them bringing out ways to bring back the previous Zodiac Dragons. Because from the looks of it, they don't want people missing out on that grand prize. So, I am getting more and more antsy about what that ultimate Zodiac Collection prize is. Because, I mean, an entire year's worth of dedication trying to get, like, one special dragon. That is a lot of effort, so is it going to be a Divine? Is it going to be a Legendary? Is it going to be an Exception Dragon? Maybe they'll just debate us all and it's a new type of common dragon. That would be hilarious. Like, imagine if they the way that they brought out a new element was by bringing it out as part of the Zodiac collection. That would be so funny. I, I highly doubt that that would happen, but just thinking about it, I'd be like... Yeah, that would, that would probably annoy so many people. So if they wanted to alienate their players, I guess they could do that. But <laughs> um, people are still saying, you know, it's obviously Apollo because they're never going to free him naturally. They're going to make us do this weird, over-the-top, grindy stuff and not just give him to us because they're mean. I don't know. I just hope that eventually we do see Apollo. Could be now, could be in 10 years' time. We just need to see him in-game. He's been in jail for too long. Uh, poor little Apollo, still sitting there, unreleased. I mean, we do have the new Divine event coming up in probably either very soon or after the June update. And the June update, I also want more information on that as well. I'm still waiting for it. I'm still waiting every day for more news on the upcoming Divine event with Chrono Nezha, since they... They basically teased it a month ago when the Stronger Together charity event was out. And they did announce what the actual total donation amount raised was for the Stronger Together charity event. I think it was like $200,000, something like that, which is pretty good. 
definitely pretty good, so I'm very proud of all of you. You know, even if you were only able to donate like a dollar to the cause, or a couple of bucks, doesn't matter. It's better than donating absolutely nothing. So, you know, I appreciate everyone that took part in that event, and um, hopefully it goes to the people that really, really genuinely need it. I mean, it should, because the, the charity organisation is extremely trustworthy, or from the looks of it over time, you know. I don't think they've ever been involved in any weird scandals or anything like that. You know how people are like, oh, I don't want to donate to that charity because it's not even going to the people that need it. You know, I've, I've heard that before, and it has happened in the past where some companies have been very sketch, but care in particular, I, I don't think they've been involved in anything like that. So, you know, that's the reason mainly that I trusted in the event and wanted everyone to get involved as well. Because regardless of, you know, whether I had my own dragon in the event or what, I probably still would have done the exact same thing. Because, you know, I've lived in India, I've seen some bad stuff, I've visited countries around the world. Ain't good in a lot of places. But, I digress. I digress. For now, we are just going to be doing our enchantment fights and um, hoping to get some more enchantment material back. Because, boy oh boy, am I low on enchantment materials. I actually have not even created the video that I want to yet regarding that, but that is safe. It's a safe file. Don't worry about it. But we do need more materials in general. I mean, we need materials for Sany. We need uh, materials to upgrade habitats as well. We've just got a lot of stuff that needs upgrading as a whole. And you know what, if I don't find a dragon fight that I can do in the next 10, I'm just gonna not even bother. So, 96, okay. That's fine. <laughs> I was gonna say, if we don't find one after refreshing this many times, I am just going to give up. Can't be bothered. Cannot be bothered. Not in the mood at all today. So, I hope you've been having a good couple of days. Um, anything exciting happen? I know, I'm waiting out for a package as well, so I'm hoping that I don't miss it, because what ends up happening is as soon as I do anything, I don't pay attention to the door. People knock, I don't hear it. So I'm hoping that I don't miss it. If I do, I'm gonna blame you, because I'm busy playing DML instead. God damn it. Uh, but I just need to chill. De-stress. Enjoy the day as it is. Look forward to the trip in a month's time. You know, it's... Everyone will occasionally run into really stupid situations that need to be dealt with. And it's just one of those times for me. So I hope it, that you're having a little bit more of a relaxing time. If not, I hope that you can relax soon, and whatever the problem is that you're dealing with, I hope it's fixed soon for you. But, let us go ahead, we'll take all of this food out for now. So I will plant some spring cherries. My god, I need to sneeze. <coughs> oh, was that loud? I bet that was loud. Um, either way. God knows, stop it. I go in the garden for one minute, and this is what I do. But anyway, I'm gonna keep trying to breed this turf dragon. Best of luck with all of your Gemini Alpha breeding, your chain breeding stuff, lilac dragon breeding, and um, especially good luck with your Aries dragon breeding. You're gonna need it if you wanna hopefully get that lucky within a day's time. So, very, very best of luck to you. If we do get any more news, I'll try and update you as soon as I can, unless, you know, half my house gets destroyed again. But regardless, thank you very much for joining me. Until next time, I will see you then.